Welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. This one, the number 6, is about green screen. This is a visual effect very used in movies where a green background is made transparent and replaced with some other image or video, that way creating amazing visual effects. In this tutorial we will see how the powerful color grading features in DaVinci Resolve can be used to make green backgrounds crystal clear transparent. DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. DaVinci Resolve is a so powerful color grading app that its tools here in the color tab could make an entire app by its own. There are many, many tools, features you can use to apply color grading, color correction in your videos. In this tutorial, the green screen, we will use two. This one, the qualifier, we will use it to select the green we want to delete. And a little bit of this other tool, the power window tab, this one, we will use it to mask areas of the green screen. But basically, this one, the qualifier. Let's come back from the color tab to the edit tab, the typical opening screen in DaVinci Resolve. Let's import a background video, let's go to File, Import Media, and let's select a video. We could use as a background, like this one. Open, don't change, and let's click and drag it to the timeline. As we saw in our second tutorial, this is a video track. Position the marker over it to watch it. It's a video track indicated with a B1. If you play back this, you will see just a video of the moon over the sea. Now let's import a green screen image. Let's go to File, Import Media, let's go to Picture and select a picture like this one. Just click and drag it over the moon and sea video. To see the picture, position the marker over it. And now the picture is covering the sea. This is the clip of the picture the green screen picture, and this is the clip of the sea. As we saw in the second tutorial, in DaVinci Resolve, clips in an upper track tend to cover to conceal clips in a lower track. Let's select the green screen clip and apply some tools we saw in our previous tutorial. Let's activate the inspector. As I click on the inspector, the streamer will disappear. Click on the inspector. Now let's adjust the size, the zooming of this picture. We saw that in our previous tutorial, you click and drag, and as you can see, the green screen picture is covering the moon and sea video. Let's come back to normal, click, type 1, press enter, and now it's time to get rid of the green area. This is very basic. This is a color grading effect. So to fix this, we will go from the edit tab we are now to the color tab, click there, and now we have the color correction features in the virtual result. Probably the most powerful one in a video editor. Now, four steps we will apply here. There are many tools, this one, this one, this one. To apply green screen, we'll select the qualifier. Click here. This is the first step. Selecting the green area. We'll have to tell to DaVinci what color we want to get rid of. In this case, it's a green. It could be another color. But go to qualifier. Then change switch to 3D. It's easier that way. So qualifier and 3D. Now select the picker and now indicate cell to resolve what color to select, in this case green. You just click and drag all this green area. So DaVinci will know any green like this will be selected. As we are selecting only the greens, everything that is not green is disappearing from this node. But actually, we want to get rid of the green, so we need to invert the selection. We go to this tool, invert. As I click here, the green will disappear and the girl will appear again. Invert. This is what we want. The green color disappear and we can only see the girl. Then we apply another feature. We need to make the unselected area transparent. This is our third step. You right click here and select add alpha output. Click here and this node is created. All you need to do is click here on this arrow and drag to this node. And that is all. All that was green has disappeared. Don't worry about this blue line, it's, it won't appear on the video. But if we get closer, we can get close in this picture by using this zooming. Click and go to 50. And as you can see, there's still some kind of green outline around the picture. Well, 
to get rid of that, we use the fourth step, adjust the borders. It's unbelievably easy. Here where we are now, on the qualifier in 3D, all we need to do is click on this, this pill, click here, and the green outline disappear. That is all. Let's come back to normal, 25, and now let's go back from the color tab to the edit tab. And as you can see, all the ring area has disappeared, there is no green outline, and this is the very basic of how to use green screen. Remember, as DaVinci is a so powerful color grading app, when you try to manage to work with color, there are lots and lots of tools you can use. Let's come back to the edit tab, and let's position this at the beginning of the video. Position the marker over here to see it, to watch it. Let's adjust its duration by dragging at this border like this and if you play this you will see the girl in front the C behind play this very simple green screen four steps let's repeat the process to remember let's import a video a green screen video let's go to file import media let's go to video and select the spider-man video let's click and drag it to the timeline over Let's drag this bar, position the marker over it. The Spider-Man video is covering everything behind it. Let's click on it. Let's use the inspector to transform. Let's click and zoom out a little. And as you can see, as the Spider-Man green screen footage is on top of the other clips, it's also covering the other clips here in the preview window. So let's come back to normal, click, press 1 and press end. This clip is covering everything. Let's adjust the duration of this clip. It's lasting too much. You remember how to do that. You position the marker, enable the razor tool, click to split, right click, delete selected, and let's come back. Now, let's get rid of this green area. Position the marker. We remember how to do that. Let's disable the razor and enable the selection tool. Let's click on the Spider-Man, click to select it, and let's go from the edit tab to the color tab. Let's get rid of the green. Make sure to have this clip selected. You can verify that by clicking here in this clip tab. It lets you select the several clips we have and then make sure you have selected the Spider-Man clip. Let's disable these clips so we have more space, more room to this preview window. Remember the four steps to apply the green screen? There are many tools you can use in color correction features, but we need to do this the qualifier. Click here and don't forget to set it to 3D like this. Then use this picker, click on it, to select what green to delete. You just draw a line. This is the green we want to delete. So the into result now knows what color we want to get rid of. Now the green is selected. As you see, Spider-Man disappears here and now there is only green. We want the opposite. To fix that, we click on the invert selection. This is the second step, invert selection, and now we see only the Spider-Man. Now the third step, make the background transparent. Remember how to do that? Right click, add alpha output, and click this, this arrow to the new alpha output node, this way. Everything outside the Spider-Man has been deleted, but there's a still. Let's get a little bit closer, like this. There's still some kind of outline around the Spider-Man. How to fix that? That's the fourth step, just by clicking here on this pill. Click here, and that is all. Let's come back to normal, 25, and let's see it. Let's watch this here on the edit tab. Position the marker, and let's play this. Now let's import another picture. Let me show you something. Let's go to pictures and let's select a green screen picture that is just not perfect. Like this one. Click and let's drag it in an upper track. We could also place it here. It would work, but I would prefer creating a new track. Now we have four video tracks, one for each clip. You see, this picture is not perfect, it's not a perfect green screen picture because it has some areas that aren't green, but you can fix that. Let's work on this. You select the clip and then go from the edit tab to the color tab 
make sure to have this clip selected. It's already selected, but you can verify this. Clicking on clips and verify this one is selected. Let's close the clip panel and let's adjust the size to 12, like this. Let's apply the four steps. Step 1, you go to the tool you need. In this case, you go to qualifier, click here, and remember to set it to 3D to select the green area. This step 1, you click on this picker. Don't use the minus 1 or the plus 1. Remember to use this one. Click and then explain to resolve what color you want to delete. It doesn't have to be green. It could be another color. But the most used one is green. So let's click and draw the line. All these kind of greens. Someone brighter. Someone darker. All these greens I want you to select. All this green area. And you continue. Enough. Now the greens are selected, the girl is unselected. It's time to step 2, invert the selection. How? Go into this tool, invert, click there, and now the green disappears, the girl remains. It's time to make things transparent. Step 3, right click, add alpha output. This node is created. You check this arrow, click, and drag it to the new node, the alpha output. Drop, and now what used to be green is transparent. Let's disable this blue line. I would like you to watch this better. So path, let's untick this. Okay, look what happened. These areas weren't green. So the green screen feature didn't delete it. What can we do? We will use this tool, the window. Click on that. And it's used to select what area of the video of the picture will actually be shown. You can use many tools. Let's apply this one. This is square, this rectangle. Click on this. And let's draw a rectangle. There's already one here. Let's do this. Only the area around the girl will be selected. Everything outside this rectangle will be deleted. This way we see the girl. Dragging its corners. We're masking, we're selecting what area of the picture of the video will be shown. Later, we will make a tutorial about masking, but this is not for this one. Let's come back to the qualifier, and don't forget to apply the fourth step. If we get closer to this picture, clicking and getting closer, there's still some kind of green outline around the picture. To solve that, just click on the spill. Click and that's right. Let's come back to the original size. And this is the picture. Come back to the editor tab. And now the girl is covering a Spider Man. We could fix that. Remember how? Just select the clip. Enable the inspector just right now. And you can adjust the position like the X1. And move the girl this way. You see? There's still some kind of green area over here. Let's fix that. Let's come back to the color tab. With the girl selected, enable again the picker and let's draw here. That's all. Let's show path. I did draw a, a line over here. Let's unshow this. And now our video is just perfect. We could even apply some movement to this girl. So it moves from side to side and, and turn around and things like that. But that would be in other tutorial. In this one, just applying the green screen effect. Remember, select the clip, go to the color tab and head for the qualifier, select 3D and four steps. First, with this tool, tell DaVinci what color disappear. It could be any color, the most often used, the green. That's the step one, select the green color. The second one, to invert the selection, using this tool. Later, third step, make background transparent, right clicking, adding alpha output, and clicking and dragging from this arrow. Finally, delete the outline just by clicking here on this pill. And that's all. When you come back to the edit tab, the green areas will be disappeared. So if you're watching this video from YouTube, remember always, in the video description, you will find a link to our full DaVinci Resolve playlist. If you click there, YouTube will show you our playlist. This one, with all the DaVinci Resolve tutorials we are creating, just in the order you need them to be. Please tell me that you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.